happy, well it's Sunday for us, happy Sunday you lovely lot and welcome to day five of our Universal trip. We are having a fantastic time. Um, yesterday, Discovery Cove, which was awesome. However, rookie error, um, I have definitely sunburned quite badly my feet and my legs. So um, yeah, that was interesting. Hello, Days. Hello. How are we? I'm good, how you, are you? you? need to turn up a little bit because our room's in a bit of a tip. Oh, okay. Yeah, how are we? Yeah, good. Yeah. You're not all right. <laughs> so today <coughs> the plan is to um, head over to, Daisy and I are popping over to Royal Pacific to pick up our room keys because that will give us um, fast pass access to the majority of the rides at Universal. So we've booked in for one night, we're probably not going to use the room but that will give us two days fast passes so it's kind of a nice little hack that. So Daisy and I are going to always over there, it's just coming up for 8 o'clock and the rest of the gang are going to meet us at... Um, at where they're gonna meet us, Universal Studios, because we're gonna do that this morning. We had a how was your meal last night? A cowfish, I loved it. I love cowfish, yeah, it was really, really good. And look at our fantastic view. We're on the second floor, so last time we were a lot higher up, but this view is glorious, right? We better make some moves. Right, we've booked our Uber, it's three minutes away, but this sort of area where you stand outside and wait for buses and taxis like the entrance lobby is just so lovely and it is still a little bit overcast so that'll blow over but it is absolutely lovely great d how are you feeling yeah having a nice holiday yeah oh. we've stayed here before a long time welcome to royal pacific oh this feels lovely I think I last stayed here when I was seven. Yeah. I still remember the frogs on the bridge. Oh yeah. It's a weird thing, like, it doesn't feel that long ago. That's like more than half of my lifetime ago. <laughs> that is mad. Right, let's go and check in. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, lovely. Right, where's check-in? It smells the same. It does smell the same. Right, checking all done. That took a little while to get there, but when we got there, Anthony, how good was he? I loved him. Yeah. He was so cool. Yeah, really nice, super attentive. Yes, so it's five to nine. Apparently it's like a seven minute walk from where we're at to where we're going. We're gonna meet the guys under the globe, and it looks like it's nice what and sunny. Yeah, I love this music. So this is a lovely resort. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely all the feels. Definitely feels like more premium. Yeah, calm. Yeah. And we've got a Starbucks. What did you have? I don't know. I had a iced latte with vanilla and coconut milk. And how was it? Delicious. So apparently it's a seven minute walk. So we've come out of the like main reception, done a left, <clears throat> and now we're on a wiggly old path. Right, so we're on the path down to the park. It's a very scenic walk, and this is the water taxi, which would go from either Hard Rock or Portofino. That is a nice way to get to the parks. Plants. Plants. <laughs> right, we're on City Walk. I've got all the fields, and you're, uh, huh? Well nice. Is well nice. I was going to say that your uh, sunburn is all gone. Look, I'm, I'm bronzed. <laughs> this is not burn. Who's burned? <laughs> I am burned. My legs, my um, my feet have swollen up. Can you also, <laughs> can you just imagine the pain I was in on that flight? Oh, that must have been oh, horrible. I was like putting moisturiser on like every 40 minutes. <laughs> so everyone's going into, we're going against the flow. And where are we going for lunch? Oh, is it up here? Oh yeah, it's oh, like yeah. the Mexican up there. So that's going to be exciting. Oh, it's not lunch. I think we're heading there for four o'clock. Yep. So that'd be nice. Lina. Yeah, Lina. And we're gonna meet all of our friends and family under the globe. So you will have seen a few days ago, we did the Mardi Gras parade. I absolutely love that. I think it's, I've never really been in, like massively into parades, but that Mardi Gras one definitely did it for me. I loved it. And I think I... we might do it again today. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Right, we're all in the park. Hello, what are we going on? Okay. Express passes. So, what's the current wait time? Can you see? Uh, there's no. It doesn't look like there's a massive queue, but I don't know. We'll have a look. We'll check the wait time and see how yeah. quick it is with express. Right, rocket done. 
that ride normally spins me out, but I was fine. I think I was on the, well, I don't think, I was on the front row. I think that really helps not having anything directly in front of me. Um, so yeah, with express passes, we were on and off in about 14 minutes, which was awesome. And we've got a marching band coming through. <laughs> I love a marching band. Oh, look at you. Right, breakfast of champions here with Lukey. What you got? I've gone for a corn dog, mate. Let's have a look. Just a uh, little trail of ketchup, but I'm going to add to it now. Well, that's gone well. <laughs> so I'm going to leave messy, Luke. Daisy, what do you go for? Pretzel. Nice pretzel and, and cheese. cheese. Dip. Next up, Jimmy Fallon. Nice hair con. Morning wife. Morning. <laughs> this really is like a nice walkthrough bit. Lovely air con. It's like being in, it's actually like being in the Hard Rock Hotel. Very cool. This has got to be the most civilised queue of all time. That's Jimmy Fanner done. I love that ride. Best way to describe that, I think, is sort of like a cross between soaring and Spider Man. Loved it, loved, loved, loved it. You enjoy that, Dave? It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, very nice. I love it. I love it even more every time we do that ride. It's yeah. just something more you get, I think. It's a very quick ride, there's a lot going on. So, yeah, having done it a few times then. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. It. So this is the first time this trip that we've been in this far, but the Mardi Gras overlay on everything is so cool. They sell beignets with crab in them. I really want to try it, but I don't know where that would be. Yeah, because I think they've got like a whole sort of street food thing going on in the evenings. We, we're going to try and get on it. Oh wow, I love these Mardi Gras people. So in the film vault shop, lots of film related stuff. It's all very cool. Ghostbusters, if you didn't know. Who are you gonna call? Um, my mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are cool. Oh, look at that. You can turn the DeLorean on. Say again? You can turn the DeLorean on. You can turn it on. I turned it on. I turned them both on. You can't stop me, I'm a madman. I love these socks. What is the matter with you? This is definitely one of those shops where you just walk around going, I want, I want. Oh, I love that shirt. I really like this print. Yeah, I love it. You could just get lost in here. Come out with no money. heading down to the Bourne show but there seems to be a parade over there so let's cut through right Marilyn Monroe's out <laughs> Right, heading into the Spawn show, uh, we did this on the last trip and it was like one of the surprise, surprise things that we did and our friends are coming on it for the first time as well. So one of the great things about all things like this is watching people's experience things, put your teeth in, you know what I mean, seeing how people experience things like this for the first time because this show is like properly mind bending. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. Spectacular done, as good as you remembered it. So amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? So smart. That's one of the best things here. It, that's, make sure, you, if you're coming here, make sure you do it. That is 10 out of 10, unbelievable. So, Born Spectacular. <laughs> I love Born Spectacular. <laughs> is it as good as you remembered it? Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's just amazing, yeah. It's, a, it's really it's a must-do universal. Yeah, it is yeah. fantastic and it will like spin your mind a bit. It's, I'm not sure how they do a lot of it, but it's amazing. And little mini SpongeBob parade is out and about. 
Right, heading into the horror makeup show. Yeah. It's so cool having all this stuff in here. These are some of my favorite moments in Universal. <laughs> The makeup show done. Do you enjoy that? It's really good. It's a different. Oh, I forgot really to last time. It was a different style, but it was so funny. It was so dry. Sense of humour. Yeah. So it's just a real fun show. It's not like a technical thing. How to do horror makeup? It's just a lot of fun. So, and the guy that did it was really, really funny. So yeah, highly recommended. Right. It is ten to one. Feels kind of lighter in the parks today. It felt really busy on the way in at security, but actually in the studios it's not too bad. Whether everyone's in Islands of Adventure or just City Walks at Sunday, I don't know. But yeah, yeah. we're off to ET. Yeah. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the ET Adventure. So as you go into ET, they ask your name for something that happens. At the end of the ride, everyone said their name's Keith. The guys just had to put in like seven lots of Keith. <laughs> There's something about the smell in here, it just like really, really takes you back. Cause this is a ride we were doing with the kids when they were tiny. Really love this queue, might be one of my favourites. Right, so that ride's done. I like that ride more and more every time we do it, especially now that if you all put the same name in, what happened at the end? <laughs> Keith, Keith, Keith and Dave. <laughs> That's brilliant. So we're in the Simpson area. <clears throat> all around here they've got like little carnival games and you know, win a pig, race a dog, all that sort of stuff. Right, we're heading on to the Simpsons ride. You're not a massive fan of this, are you? It's not my favourite. And he used to work for me. For some reason, he hates me. Right, that's the Simpsons ride done. That's good. It's basically, it's like a simulator ride. So you've got like a big IMAX screen and you all sit in a car. Yeah, sort of takes you around. So you feel like you're going forward, feel like you're going backwards, feel like you're going fall, you know, falling. Lots of Simpsons style jokes that you might expect, but yeah, it's a good ride. The trash talking has started already. We're off to Men in Black. Luke's always uh, gets one with a broken gun, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I always get a broken gun on here. Um, so it's the only way I can think of why I'm, I'm normally the person with the lowest score. But yeah, you know, it must be broken. It, it, it is broken. There's I, no other explanation. Yeah, I, I I will be writing a complaint to uh, to Universal. MIB. To MIB if I've got another broken gun. But you know, what can you do? Right, we're about to find out. Into aliens and you. Are you ready to shoot some aliens? I like shooting aliens. I like the public it, but I enjoy it. It's a daisy. What went down there? You won. 210,000. Amazing. Looks a bit salty. How'd you get on? Daisy, who's only a couple thousand ahead, and then for some reason they just went, oh, we'll give Daisy 100,000 points for no reason. But I'm fine, I, I really am fine. I think, you know, I do the best I can do with the resources given to me, but I'm just a little bit concerned about how I'm, how I'm further bonus for my day. It's not ruined my day, it's ruined my day. Yeah, it's ruined my, it's ruined my holiday. Right, we are crushing it today. I've not done wait times on the Express so far because everything has literally just been a walk on. So we are now heading into. Is it Diagon Alley? Yes. Gringotts. But the actual wait times on the rides haven't been too bad either, so um, we'll see how it progresses throughout the day, I guess. Yeah. So it turns out the park was light because most of the people in the park are in this bit, but it's still not super crowded. I've been in here before where it's been like way more crowded. So we're going to head around the corner to Gringotts. So you need to put your gear in a locker for this one, as most of the stuff here, it's saying it's an hour's queue, so it'll be interesting to see what we get through on. Such a, always, always super impressive, no matter how often you come here, it's amazing. So, 
cool. Extreme. I think it's put the back of the um, right vehicle this time when you the beginning race sleep, some spoilers if you haven't done it, but uh, the, the beginning race sleep. We were at the back of the right vehicle, it felt like the little drops bigger, but I think it's just because we were in a different place, but I don't know. It felt more extreme generally, but it's great. Yep, and um, from start to finish, 30 minutes. Don't get much better than that. Right, we had a nice sit down for five or ten minutes, rested our feet, and we are now heading over to Fast and Furious, which is arguably one of the most average rides, but with the best gift shop. It's kind of silly, but we like it, so we're going to head over there now. What's the matter with you? So weird. <laughs> Just each other. And keep it quiet. Never mind, don't say anything. Um. It's party time, Luke. Yeah, I can't hear you over some of these vibes, mate. <laughs> Fast and Furious done. That is mad. It's the best ride. It's, it's really, really good, and then it stops. There's no light ending, there's not much story. It's just bonkers. They put more water in it. Rad or die. But it is a bit of fun. Yeah, I thought I understood a bit more what was going on this time, but I probably didn't. Um, yes, but it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. Um, yeah, but it's kind of short, and I feel like they could have done more with it. But, you know, it is what it is, but it does have a good shop. See all these cool shirts. What we got there, mate? It's not a cuddly car. <laughs> These belts are pretty cool. Daisy, why are you doing that? Did you enjoy that? What? That ride. I don't really understand it, but I did enjoy it. I'm Carol Shelby. I build race cars. Right, the drummers are up. We love these guys. Yeah, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Right, it's coming up to four o'clock. We are heading out of the park, so we've got a dinner reservation. What's the place called? And Tahitos. And Tahitos. I don't think I've said that right, but we'll, we'll show you it when we get there. Yeah. Um, so the plan is to head out, have some lunch. Well, so it's going to be dinner, really, isn't it? Yeah, I thought we'd try and aim that, that time, so that we didn't want to have to interrupt the day too much to stop and eat early on. We wanted to get through as many things as we could. So, like late sort of dinner, early sorry, late lunch, early dinner, and then we've got the evening to decide what we want to do. Yeah, so we might go back and have a bit of a splash in the pool actually, because it is like today's been the hottest day we've had, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's quite far. It's yeah. lovely. So, yeah, heading out. So, here we go. That looks well impressive. But it's very nice in here. Got up until this point. Ugh. Thank How was your meal? Amazing. Yeah. Really tasty. Yeah. Really nice. Highly recommended. Great service. Great service. Great food. Definitely going back there. How was your meal? Uh, that was really good, actually. Really good. Really good. Yeah. I can't believe we've never really been there. I like that food, and that was delicious. So, uh, I had the burrito. I'm a 
had a uh, chimichanga. And, uh, it was really, really good. It's really good. How was your meal? Loved it. It was so good. Lovely service, yeah. lovely atmosphere. Yeah, I think really that place nice would place. be good at night. Yeah, I think, might be. I think live music. Live well. music. Yeah. Right, we're going to head back to the resort. Let's go. How cool is that? Is it? Oh yeah. And we never come down this bit. No, it's really interesting. It's just like the clubby bit, but we never come down. But yeah. Yeah, there's all sorts down here as well. You know what we need? Maybe another trip. <laughs> we are kind of I mean an ring about getting a um, upgrading to an annual pass but I'm not sure if we're going to be coming back within a calendar year who knows what do you reckon it's difficult isn't it to do Universal because for us Universal is a cheaper trip than Disney so if we just wanted a cheeky week it would be quite a good option but we've done it twice now in four months <laughs> we probably don't need to do it again within the next 12 but oh, I don't know it's, it's really weird you can do so much and do everything so many times and there's still stuff you miss there's still stuff you haven't done there's still stuff you want to do again there's just always something that you can do. And plot twist, we've ended up on the first floor, so we are, I don't know, this must be up like a gradual <laughs> ramp. Yes, you're going to have to take the escalator down. <laughs> Heading down for the bus. Right, it is 6.30, we're back in the room. Luke's having a shave. Nice tan, man. Got my tan. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have a little look? Yeah, have a little Ready? Look, yeah. I'll give him the old turn around. Hi. <laughs> it's me, uh, Sunsafe Luke. <laughs> I, uh, I did use sunscreen slash sun cream, but us pale Irish boys, <laughs> the sun always seems to get us. So, um, can I have a look at the back, please? <laughs> so it is 6 30 and we've just got back a uh, fantastic meal like really 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 lovely meal it was delicious yeah it was really good highly recommended um so yeah i think we're going to keep this evening chill we are going to let anybody that wants to do what they want do it i got panderized um i'm gonna have a like a lay on the bed for half an hour or so we might pop down to the pool we might pop back to the parks we might pop over to royal pacific and just go and have a look at that room who knows the world is our lobster oh the other thing i was going to say <laughs> how good is our housekeeping so um so this has been really really well serviced and we have been tipping housekeeping because there are four of us in kind of a small space so um yeah i've been tipping them anywhere between three and five dollars a day and they have been doing a sterling job let's have a look outside the window it still looks nice out there, so we could venture out pretty shortly. Plot twist. Go to the park. Oh, you're gonna watch. Ma marriage grass. <laughs> the marriage grass. <laughs> because I put stuff on Instagram and I've got fat fingers and I can't spell too good. <laughs> well, we've had the Mary's parade. Macy's She's parade. Back to that one. <laughs> and marriage grass. <laughs> Mardi Gras. I love that parade so much. We're going back. Just me and uh, Daisy. The OGs. The OGs. Did you see the OGs? So I think it's this morning. Oh, nice. Anyways. Like a long time ago. So we are heading back out. We literally were in the room for 15 minutes. And we're going back for more. Boom. Right. What time is it? 25 past. We got, got five, five minutes. minutes for the parade. Just bumped into some lovely people that watch the channel, which made my evening a little bit. And it looks like it's going to be a lovely evening. Have a look. Right, we made it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah, it's pretty crowded because this is the this is the last. Close. Yeah. Oh. This is the last one. A bit height, This is the last parade of Mardi Gras. So there's either going to be loads of beads because they're trying to get rid of them, or no beads. I think they're going to go to town. I think it's going to be. Also, I think energy is going to be a hundred percent. Again, what is I'm, with these angles? Because I was going to go that way. Anyway, there's loads of people here. Sorry about my saucy daughter. Oi. Oi.
heading on for a cheeky late night rocket. Hey man. Yeah, why, yeah, why not? Right. Rocket done. I love doing that at that time that of night. That was really cool. Like, it was a really, I don't know, like the, the light was a bit lighter than how it is right now. It was really good. And we've uh, we've gifted some beads. I have. I had way too many. And we, there was two kids sat on the floor organising them into colour order. And I was like, that's something I'd do. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look very grateful. Yeah. And now there's a little bit straight ahead where we think there's some Mardi Gras stalls. So we're going to go and see what's going on down there. Loving this. Yeah. Very smart. <laughs> right, Daisy's still got that, that song banging around in her head. Uh, one thing that Universal will do is like around, uh, if there's an event on, um, like Horror Nights or Mardi Gras, the tribute store sometimes has theming based on what's going on. We only sort of discovered it on the last trip, really. So we're. Sorry, That's I right. interrupted you. Last time they had um, Christmas stuff, obviously. Yeah. So, I'm so we're heading in. The, uh, telltale sign. It's on the door. Marriage class. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Three dollars. Oh wow. Should be fourteen. Wow. Oh, You're gonna get it. I've got money on me. Oh. So okay. <laughs> Pretty snazzy socks. Got some stickers, got some cool t-shirts and everything's on clearance. So this t-shirt, it's not my bag, but that is $8.99 for a t-shirt, which is well good. We do like this one. It's really soft. Yeah. I like it because it says spicy on it and it's my favourite adjective. You got like a big polystyrene head. They had to, uh, when they made this, they were told to do it in a hurry. You said, make it snappy. So annoyed, I should have gotten that. Oh wow, so this is like... All the old braids. It's very cool. So this feels like a prop department. So like all the design, uh oh, glitters out. So yeah, just feels like all the prop design for the floats and the costumes and the, you know, all the conceptual ideas. I love it. <coughs> yeah, it's so cool. Oh look, it's like a crocodile in a rocket ship. Yeah, like concept art for the floats. The floats were fantastic. I wonder how long it takes them to make. I don't know. That one's from 2014, but I feel like I saw that one today. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So cool. That was great. Love it. Love it. Right, we are now heading in Diagon Alley. Gonna head on Gringotts, but what is nice, everything has calmed right down. Still kind of busy in here compared to the rest of the park, but way better than earlier. This bit's always really congested because people are waiting for the dragon. Yeah. Might go now. Do you reckon? Yeah. Let's not wait because. But it will look good at night. Do a flip. <laughs> of a panic they said there was three minutes left to get on the ride and there were no lockers available so that was a bit of a scramble but we are in ride two of Gringotts done and Diagon Alley is a very civilized place to be at what time is it do we know uh, half, nine. half nine yeah it's really really lovely nice and chilled so the plan is now to head on to City Walk Fingers crossed, get some ice cream, yes. and then head back. Oh yeah, me too. Get us through that long queue of the bus. Yeah. Right, we're just coming towards the exit of uh, Universal Studios. I'm going to be honest, Daisy, when we got back to the hotel room, yeah. and you said, and you realised that this was our last shot to go and see the um, Mardi Gras parade. Yeah. I could have done without it, to be honest. I know. And I could tell there was just like a little, like a tiny little whiff of disappointment. And that was all I needed to like charge me up like, no, nope, we're going out again. Yeah. Because we literally were only back in the room for 20 minutes and then straight yeah. out again. And I'm so glad 
so glad I did. I didn't want to sit in the, well, I, I really wanted to do Mardi Gras again. And then I realized this was the last night we could have done it. And I, all day I've had it in my mind, that, oh, we're doing Mardi Gras tonight. So I wasn't like super disappointed because I know things change, but I was a bit like, I really wanted to do that. So I, I also, I said I was happy to come in by myself. Yeah, then, yeah. Like, and I would not have, but I totally would have come in by myself. But all I needed but, was that little, you know, as parents, all we really want for our kids to be happy. And that little whiff of just like, oh, she's not, and I'm like, I'm in. And now we're getting ice cream. And now we're getting ice cream. So, um, yeah, we're going to see you. Next time we see you, we might have some ice cream. That was so good. Thanks, man. I've just tasted mine. It's incredible. That was that was a 40 minute wait for ice cream. 40. Yeah. I didn't feel like that. Yeah, I kind of did. However, kind of worth it. That is a lot of ice cream. You're a bit more restrained. Right on the way to the bus. So good. Right, it is 10 to 11. We are back at the hotel. Good evening. I'm a bit tired now. I was a bit tired. That was a fantastic day. And tomorrow is our last full day, so we are up early for extra park hours. So we'll see you lovely lot next time. Thanks so much for following along. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers. Cheers.